Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on Gran Turismo 7. We're back with the latest 2 million credit guide to try and help you earn these credits as quickly and as easily as possible. This week will not be the easiest for a lot of you, I think, in my personal opinion, partly because of the track and partly because of the car. We're driving Suzuka, which is quite a technical track. It can be quite difficult for some people to find the pace around here. And also this car, we're in the McLaren uh, Vision Gran Turismo car, and this car is a little bit chaotic to drive. Sometimes it feels like there's loads of grip there. Other times it just completely loses control. And we'll talk about that as we go through the track, guys. So hopefully we can give you some tips here to try and help you get this lap done just to get within that goal time. So to enter this, you're going to go into sport mode and then you're going to go into the online time trial section there. And you're going to be greeted with two separate time trials. We have both of them on the channel. So if you want to check out the other one, feel free to check that out on the channel. Remember to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button if this video does help you out. So my predicted goal time for this, I think this is going to go down to around a very low 40. Because I think a lot of people are going to push this a lot further than what we have here. And I think a few of the fast drivers might push this at Suzuka also to push that time very close to the 37.0 for the top time, which will then obviously lower the goal time because this is based on 3% of the top time, not amount of players. It doesn't matter how many players enter. It is based on your lap time, whether you get the goal. So, yeah, you need to get within that lap time to re receive the 2 million credits at the end of the two weeks. So let's start this guide and try and help you out. And you can see here, revving this car out. Make sure you assign DRS button to the straights so you can activate that on the straights. Going into turn one, we're going to break way before that 50 board, just after the 100 board. And you can see the braking inputs going in here while we're in a straight line. Now, be very careful as you turn in and braking into this corner. If you're too erratic, the rear will snap out. So you have to be very smooth with your inputs. Down to fourth gear. Now, I take a slightly wide line. You can see the ghost in front of me, Jeddah. It takes a little bit more of a narrow line. Now, this wide line does actually help in this exit here because I can now get up to fourth gear, avoid third gear, which can be a little bit dodgy sometimes, and then just put that power down quite aggressively. Now, we're going into this really, really difficult section for some people. You're going to put a tiny bit of braking input here. I do enjoy driving this in high downforce. It is quite fun. And you're going to use a bit of the curb there. And then, again... You're going to put a tiniest amount of braking input in just there as you're going into this right hand corner. Use some of the curb on the right. Again, fourth gear for the acceleration there. I, you can use third, but I just found fourth gear a lot smoother. And again, a little bit of braking input going in for this next left. Put, put the weight on the front of the car to help you get that rotation through the corner. And then again, downshift to third gear with a tiny bit of braking input again for this next right hand corner. Again, that's going to keep the car to the right hand side, keep it close to this apex. And now you can see I get on the front a little bit too early here. And that gonna, that's going to cause a little bit of understeer. And you can see the lines between myself and Jeddah. Jeddah's going to take a much wider line into the, the corner. And I'm going to be a compromise slightly because of the angle. However, if you just lift off the throttle and then wait for you quite patiently until that left hand tie is on the apex, you can keep that acceleration all the way through the exit. And we managed to recover it slightly. Probably lose a tenth of a second there in that corner. Now into this next braking zone. We're braking just past the 100 board. Pretty much in between the 100 and the 50 board. Right hand tire now into this first part of the fast right hand corner. You want to try and use the Astro if possible. You can see I don't really get as aggressive as P1 over the curb. There you can see he goes all the way over the curb. We're just going to use the curb there. And now into the next braking zone. Braking early here. You really want to be on the brakes earlier rather than late so that you can downshift it, get it slowed down. Then get back up to fourth gear so you can come out of this corner fast. It's really important to get good exit from this next right-hand corner. So again, use some of the curb up to fourth gear as we're on the curb. And then on that throttle as early as you can. I was a little bit delayed on the throttle there. You can see lose another tenth of a second on the exit there by being a bit too hesitant. And now onto the brakes for this really um, tight hairpin. Now, again, slightly late on the brakes here. You can go deep, what I'm going to do here. It does work, kind of, but you are going to lose a little bit of time. You can see it's better to take a much narrower line, get the car squared off, and then get on the power nice and early. But you can see I have to wait quite patiently before I get on the power because I go a little bit deep into the corner. But you can get away with it again. Probably a tenth, tenth and a half loss on that corner there, at least to the top time. But now coming into this fast left-hand corner, you can see we're going to break just past that 100 board we're not going to use the gray tarmac that we normally use because we're going so much faster in this car and the brakes are not quite as good as what you'd be in some of the other cars so again 
onto that brake, downshift to fourth gear, and we're gonna try and rotate this in as normal. Left hand tight as close to the curb as possible. So clip that left hand tight onto that curb if you can. I run a little bit wide there, but that does give me a very nice line into this next corner. You're gonna see I go down to second gear, so down second gear for rotation, keep the trail braking, then straight back up to fourth gear while I'm getting on the throttle. And I actually get a really nice exit there. You can see I actually catch up to the ghost that I'm chasing through the exit of that corner and actually gain a little bit there. So I actually crawl back a bit of time on the top time. So there is obviously a lot of time to find on this time trial. Now this corner is very difficult. You're gonna put a tiny bit of braking in before the 50 ball. One thing you need to get your speed to do is go below 200 about 190 195 if you go too fast the rear is going to snap here so you can see about 195 196 as we hit the apex and then you can gradually put the input back in on the accelerator and be very cautious with your input on the steering wheel through the 130r braking just before the 150 port i break a fraction too late nearly got this perfect if i would have braked a fraction earlier i could have gained massively on the ghost here you can see because as we go into the corner we actually get dead level with the ghost and we managed to make the corner However, because I've got a fraction too deep, I'm not able to square this car. If you would rather be slightly wider where that line was, and you can see the ghost has done that, and now he's able to get on the power a little bit earlier, and that shows you slightly earlier on the brakes, much more early on the throttle. It really does help. But yeah, a fraction early on the brakes into that chicane, I think I would have actually nailed that and gained another two tenths over this lap. So definitely a 37, 7, 37, 8 possible for me at least. I do think that the top time is going to get all the way down to 37 0. So, because you can see the amount of mistakes I make again, we watch this lap from the chase camera with the kilometers an hour on. And you're going to see, we're going to point out some of them little errors that we do. So, through here was actually quite nice, quite smooth. Using fourth gear, not third gear, seems to help out for me. You can use third gear if you want, but I found fourth gear was nice and smooth. A little bit deep there, you can see how I go a little bit compromised into this corner. That delays my throttle all the way through the exit. And so yeah, probably a temp gone on that corner alone. But then into here, could have used more of the curb. Not too bad though, we keep it nice and smooth. Again, a little bit hesitant on the throttle. You can see how I lifted off the throttle there, briefly. That will lose you a little bit of time up into this braking zone, which I go a little bit too deep into. Again, you can see how deep I go in there and I'm compromised then on getting on the throttle for the exit speed. So yeah, more time lost on that hairpin. However, I think this line kind of worked that I did for it because I kind of missed the apex, but then I was able to get on the throttle and widen the line in really nicely. And I used second gear there for rotation, back up to fourth gear and was able to really keep the throttle down. I think I gained a little bit back, back there on the exit of the spoon corner. But now this is the trickiest corner on the track. You have to get that speed reduced. So you can see we're going to about 315, 320 on the kilometers an hour, about 315, something like that and then into this final corner again did it reasonably well just could have braked a fraction early so i could have squared the car off more because you can see i almost understeered off the track there because i was slightly compromised on that exit so yeah a little bit of time to gain for me probably three four attempts in all honesty i didn't really want to push this more you can see i went from a 38.6 to a 38.2 i wasn't really enjoying this car too much i've got to be honest with you but i think some of you will some of you won't it's a bit tricky and a bit unpredictable doesn't feel quite right to me the way it handles but yeah i'm sure some of you will enjoy it and hopefully you'll get that gold let me know in the comment section if you've managed to get it after watching this guide and if it's improved your lap thanks again for watching everyone